Hello everyone! So let's say you want to create a painting. What are the materials you need? You need tools like paintbrushes and a canvas and you obviously need paint. And the painting can be of medium oil or acrylic or watercolor. Just like a painting, a program needs tools. In this video, we're going to talk about what the tools are and how to install them properly. I'm Manasa and I'm your computer science tutor. Welcome back to my channel. So we already know that Java is a higher level object oriented programming language. Now let's see what tools you need to start programming in Java. Now if you want to create a programming project, there's different mediums you could use. And the mediums you're using would be the programming languages that you're using. In this video, it will be the Java software. Reasons why Java became so popular are 1. Java was mainly created for the internet, which is why it has two factors that make it extremely suitable for beginners safety and portability. It's safe because when you make an error that causes unsafe behavior, you receive an accurate error report. And it is portable because when the program is run, it is run in a Java virtual machine, which simulates the real CPU. This feature allows the Java program to run in any type of operating system, such as Windows, Linux, Unix, or Macintosh. Now, number two, is that it contains a vast number of libraries that programmers created over the years, hence the different versions. And these libraries could be used by programmers around the world. And these materials can be found in the Java Development Kit, otherwise known as JDK, includes the Java Runtime Environment, JRE, which implements the Java Virtual Machine, JVM, an interpreter slash loader, a compiler, an archiver, a documentation generator, and other tools needed in Java development. And finally, the IDE, or the Integrated Development Environment, which is an application which contains editors or other features which allow programmers to develop software. It will be the blank canvas and paintbrushes needed for a painting. Now, just like there's different companies that provide you with different canvases, there's different companies that provide you with different IDEs. Among the most popular ones are IntelliJ, Apache NetBeans, and Eclipse. And editors look somewhat like this, or they look like this. But you and I both know that the first thing that any programmer does is change a light mode to a dark mode. Now that you know what materials you need to start working on a project, let's install them onto a computer. If you look in the description box below, you can find the link to install the JDK or Java Development Kit, and you can also find the link to install NetBeans IDE. Now you don't have to use the NetBeans IDE if you don't want to. Instead, you can try Eclipse or IntelliJ, but in my videos, I'm going to be using NetBeans, so I just thought it might be easier for you guys. So let's start. Okay, so the first thing that you do is download the JDK, the Java Development Kit. And please do not, I repeat, do not download the NetBeans before the JDK. That's going to mess everything up. So again, do not download the NetBeans IDE before the JDK. Okay, so... First thing, we have to create an Oracle account. Once you go to the first link, it takes you to this website. Here you have to create an account. Once you verify your account, get back onto my video link and click on the JDK link over here. And when you click on that, it takes you to this page. You scroll down to Java SE 8U251 and under this subheading, you click on the JDK download. And based on the computer you have, you select which one you're gonna download. For me, it's Windows 64, so I'm gonna click on that. I check that and I download it. Okay, so here you sign in. Before you signed up for the account, now you have to sign in to the account. Okay. So once you sign into the account, it automatically downloads your JDK into your computer. So you just wait. 
Now let's set up the JDK. Here you click on development tools and next. Okay, so the destination folder is where on your computer the JDK is installed. Try to keep it in the default location because that's where most of the IDEs are going to look throughout the computer. The default location would be under C drive, in program files, Java, and that's where your JRE is going to be. But make sure to set the path. And we're going to talk about setting the path later on. But right now, let's finish installing this. Okay, now your Java development kit is installed completely. Now let's install NetBeans. You click on the third link in the description box and you get to this website. You click on the download button under Java SE right here. Okay, so your NetBeans is installed and you click on that and you open it. Next. And you accept the terms and conditions. And here's where your NetBeans IDE will be located on your computer. And it's going to look for the JDK in this location. Next. Install. Alright, so setup is complete. Okay, so go back to the description box. Now you click on the Java documentation link and it takes you to this website again and you scroll down and you go down to the documentation download and here you click on this link right here download okay so your java documentation is also downloaded on your computer and it is in your downloads folder now my apple people you guys don't have to download java because it is already available on your computer you could just download netbeans or you can download an app called xcode which is available on app store now when you install an ide it doesn't know where your java software is located which is why you have to set a class path that way the ide will look in that specific place to run your java program Let's see how to do that. So you have to set two things, the Java home and the class path. Java home is where the Java software is installed, while the class path is where the libraries are installed. The Java home is where the class path is usually included, which is why one of the locations can be java underscore home slash bin. So to set the path, first go to the desktop, Search control panel and in your control panel, go to system and security. In system and security, go to system and then go to advanced system setting and in there you select environment variables. Now, once you get here, go to the systems variable and here you can see that there's already a Java home but I'll show you how to set the Java home if you don't have it in yet so go to files and figure out where your Java is it's usually in local disk in the program files or it can be in any other location but in my computer it's in program files and here's Java and this is where the JDK and JRE are located for me. So click on the JDK and copy the path. And once you get here, go to Java Home and click on that and edit it to Troll V. It's the same thing. And then click OK. Now you have to create the class path. And in class path, you have to select the bin folder. So here, copy and you paste it here. And that's your class path. Now go to the original path 
folder and in here you have to add your Java home and class path. So you can do that by clicking new and percent sign Java home percent sign and okay. You add another one which is class path. percent again okay and that's it you're all set up to start programming thank you so much for joining me today please make sure to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get notifications of new videos also make sure to like share and comment below i'll see you in the next video